Hello, I'm Miles O'Brien. I'm the CNN space correspondent. In the course of doing my job, I take camera crews to all kinds of places and all kinds of difficult situations. And as anyone would attest to, one of the most difficult places to shoot pictures of, if your news crew is among middle school students. But when you come to this place, it's a very different story entirely. This is an exciting room. This is the space station, if you will, at a Challenger Learning Center. And when the kids are here, well, I couldn't be talking right now because they'd be so intent on their mission, on saving the space station. When I first took a CNN crew to one of these places, instead of the usual, hey, put me on TV, mister, I got get out of my way. I'm trying to save the space station. I'm trying to save our mission. I've never seen middle schoolers so intent and so focused and so engrossed in what they were doing. It's about math, it's about science, it's about exploration, but perhaps more than anything else, Challenger Learning Centers are about teamwork. If you haven't been to one of these exciting places, I invite you to go to one as quickly as you can. Hi, I'm June Scobie Rogers. Um, my husband was Dick Scobie, the commander of the Challenger Space Mission Flight 51L. He was so excited when he came home to tell me that a teacher was assigned to that mission. And they knew they'd always be known as the teacher in space mission Flight 51L. Krista McAuliffe was this enthusiastic teacher who was going to teach lessons from space. When we met Krista, we were so enthusiastic about the lessons that she would teach from space. The world not remembers what happened. We lost that beloved crew. But we knew that it was too important to lose the mission. So we decided to continue the spirit of that mission by joining all the families together to create what we would call the Challenger Center for Space Science Education. Lessons were to be taught from space. Krista McAuliffe wanted teachers to identify with her, to let the world know that teachers had the right stuff. Krista believed in her mission. She wanted youngsters to be enthusiastic in learning. She wanted to inspire them to learn science and math and to journal and know more about the history. Krista was the most perfect choice for a teacher to fly in space. So the families came together. We sat around the coffee table in my home and said, how can we continue that mission? Well, we knew we couldn't launch satellites or conduct the scientific experiments that were lost in space, but we could continue those lessons. We could create a simulation opportunity where youngsters could work together in teams to solve problems on their own mission. And we created a simulation opportunity and a replica of NASA's mission control. When we opened the doors for the first time and allowed youngsters to climb aboard the Challenger Learning Center in Houston, Texas, I was overjoyed because I could see on the faces of those youngsters, their big, broad smiles, the jubilant cheers of a successful mission. The Challenger Learning Center has grown beyond that first one we opened the doors in Houston to dozens and dozens of Challenger Learning Centers around this country, throughout the world, and in communities all across our nation and around the world. That dream continues. And when you come to a place like this and you experience it in a hands-on way, suddenly it clicks for so many of these kids. You can just see it in their eyes. Now, there have been millions of kids who have come through this place, places like this. And it's really impossible to know how many of them will go on to careers as a result of the time they spent here. But there's no doubt in my mind that there are many kids who will one day, as perhaps they're planting footprints on Mars, will radio back to Mission Control in Houston and say, thank you, Challenger Learning Centers, because you changed my life. There's no doubt in my mind that will happen. And I think corporations, 
employers, people who are worried about the future, these are your future employees. And this is, a, this is a great way of helping fight that battle, of keeping this country competitive, of keeping our kids proficient in math and science, and doing it in a way that doesn't turn them away from it at an early age. These are the key years. This is when they get turned off for whatever reason. It's not cool, it's not taught well. Challenger Learning Centers is ideally suited to step into that critical time and get to kids who might have a natural inclination, but for whatever reason, it's not being brought out, not being brought to fruition.